Shalom. I'd like to say Brak for Yahab by Shim Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great Mostar. Blessing and salutations to the elect worldwide, preaching the gospel and spirit and truth consistently uh, throughout the four corners of the earth. May the Lord have mercy in the uh, upon the, the elect, which is inclusive of other men, women and children that are destined to repent. You know, and uh, obviously the 144,000 of the prophets. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and Hispanics are the real people of God, the children of Israel, the, uh, the Israelites, the real Jews, the, the, which are the so-called Negroes. Yeah, and the Lord has called you to repentance uh, through his son. Man. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. And Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, is considered as a so-called black man, according to Revelations chapter 1 and verse 13. Well, yeah, man. That's what it's all about, man. When you're in this truth, you go put the most high first, man. It's the most high. Is the most high. Is not being uh, heard or looked upon in this world. You got the devil ruling the so-called white man. The heathens are above us, and even two thirds of our people are, are wicked man. We live in a oppressive society, an unrighteous society. Women are uplifted over men. Homosexuals, lesbians, people part of the LGBT, LGBT community are lifted uh, above in this society. They're protected. No. They're given benefits. Women and these people part of the LGBT community. You don't own your children. You can't enjoy a family structure because the family is divided. The government can easily take over your children, can take over your woman. Everything in the society is against the Bible, man. Even though America says, God bless, God bless America, and England, the UK is considered as a so-called Christian country. It's just full of systems full of hypocrisy man, and wickedness. And everything in the society is desi designed to, to keep Jake, Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics um, in darkness, in ignorance, and a decayed, destroyed mindset, man, of being a sellout like these um, celebrities. You want to be juiced in, man, and conform to this world's uh, agendas. But when you're in this truth, you're, you're a rebel to, rebel to society, man. Because you're standing up for the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai, His Word. This is the book of Psalms uh, 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me? against the evildoers who's going to stand up for the lord who's going to stand up for the most high who's going to stand up for this doctrine this truth the bible the belief in this bible these christians ain't doing it man they're hypocrites the churches are full of wickedness adultery and idolatry worshiping uh, jesus christ uh, uh, a white image teaching that the laws the laws are done away with don't have to keep any laws i wonder why there's more wickedness increasing if you don't have to keep anything then you can do anything you want which is a wicked and dangerous doctrine the reason why we're in the worst place in society negroes and latinos is because we ain't doing anything right we ain't doing what the lord says yeah who will rise up for me against the evildoers who are the evildoers? Start, start with the so-called white man, man. 
Job 9.24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Yeah, He's the one that's ultimately oppressing the Jake. Spreading philosophies and, and lies and, and, and wickedness and tempting people. Tempting people to sin by by his media, his television, all his uh, media outlets. You might be trying to watch TV, and next thing you know, you see two women kissing or two men kissing, and then it basically forces you to enjoy it or force you to get comfortable and to see it as normal which is not normal that's abnormal it's wicked and, all, and through days and weeks and months and years of accepting it the regular common people will just you know accept it and you know they would even mind if their own children get caught, caught up in it which is off man wicked the bible the most high is against homosexuality against the lgbt movement against women being over men against the government against the government's laws against this whole society that's why the lord is coming back to destroy man and to save his people or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity the workers of iniquity workers of sin they they specialize in designing traps for Jake, they specialize in designing, uh, designing to promote promote sin to Jake, so Jake can eat it up. And a lot of our people are simple. A lot of our people deserve to get judged as well, because they're wicked. They don't want to repent. They don't want to look to the Most High for help. Rather, they seek the so-called white man. Just because the so-called white man can give them three dollars or pounds some money and they may escape some of their problems but deep down you're empty like these celebrities why do you think they kill themselves a lot of time yeah because they signed a deal with the devil and they gotta keep 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 up that standard with the devil otherwise the devil will take out their lives they got to sacrifice themselves in wickedness. They got to sacrifice loved ones in wickedness. This whole society is full of backstabbing, sacrificing, you know, sacrificing. Um, if you want to get up in society, if you want to be a celebrity, you got to sacrifice, man. You got to do a lot of wickedness in the society. You know. Where, where are the righteous figures in society being upheld? Where are these good role models that stand up for the Bible? Why is that not? If if America and the UK quote-unquote represent God or represent a nation a nation of, of Christians and righteous people, why, why are they not? Why are not such people in a, the pinnacle or a top of society doing righteousness? Because this society is full of wickedness. Even these church pastors are wicked. No, they're owned by the government. Five hundred one C three charter. They got, they got. Do what the government says, man. They're only allowed to promote certain things. Why? So it can keep people stupid. Keep people ignorant to the truth. And it's all about that paper, that money. That's why the community around those churches are still destroyed. And people leaving the churches because they're starting to realize it's bullshit. But anyways, now scripture, this is Psalms 97, verse 9. For thou, Lord, Yahweh, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. Ye that love the Lord, Yahweh. Hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked.
Yeah. So if you love the Lord, you gotta hate evil. You gotta hate everything bad that society is promoting, starting with homosexuality, the LGBT community, woman uh, above men, unrighteous uh, uh, laws. Yeah. The oppression that Jake go through. Yeah, very a lot of factors, man. Yeah. This is James chapter four, in verse four, and it says, "Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye, know ye not that the friendship of the world is en enmity with the Most High." If you're friends with this world, you're a, a rival to the Most High. You're the Most High's enemy. You don't want to be the Most High's enemy. He will fuck you up. How are you going to compete or wrestle against the Most High? Whosoever, whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So if you're a friend of this society, you, your whole life is about pleasing people of this society. Conform to the society. You look at the government as all righteous. Look at his system as all righteous. His philosophy as all righteous. You even vote of presidency in this of president of president. You vote. You try to vote. You're crazy, man. The people, you, the person you should be vouching for, you should be voting for, is the. Is the people of your nation starting with Yahweh Shai, man? Yahweh Shai, the leader of Israel, man, who's coming to return and destroy this place. That's who you should be vouching for. Why are you vouching for heathens, false teachers, false leaders? Yeah? Who's your God, you need to ask yourself? Who do you believe in, man? Who are you standing up for? Yeah? And what are you doing about it? Or the, as you see, for the prophets of the Lord, we have faith and believe in Yahweh Hashem Shai, and He's called us to preach the gospel all over the world, you know, in the highways and byways. And you see brothers waking up all over and preaching all over the world, in America, UK, in South America, other parts in Europe, yeah, in, in West Africa, the Caribbean the islands. Why? Because the Lord says so, and we're standing up for Him, His word, His truth, His doctrine. Yeah. So you go ask yourself, who are you with? The Most High Yahweh, Shimshai, or the world? Shalom.